the bar. Um, <laughs> but, like the intro music, it was great, wouldn't it? Da, 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 makes you sound like a hardcore metal person. Doesn't suit me at all. I should have actually had you know the music from like the cartoons, where like. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Emily Hamner. <laughs> Emily Hamner, not Emily Ham, as a lot of people like to say. I'm not a piece of meat. Not that my ex-boyfriend would agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. And uh, as you can tell, that name's grieved me a lot throughout my life. For example, I went to the BBC a couple of weeks ago. Woo! Yeah, careers. No. And uh, you have, <laughs> have a name badge to go through the studios. And then uh, I walked up to the front desk and goes, what's your name? And I was like, Emily Han. And he goes, oh, Emily Han, H-A-N-N. Oh, yes, H-A-N-N. For November. He goes, yeah, for November. He walked out, went to print it off, came back, I was all giddy, like someone's finally going to get it right, <laughs> someone's going to get my name right. Slap the name badge on the desk. What did it say? Emily Ham. <laughs> so the double M. I thought, do you think November starts with an M? Well, that's why you work at the BBC, really, isn't it? <laughs> Woo, Easter's coming up, Easter's tomorrow. Everyone excited? Yeah, yeah you're all old enough to drink now. Fuck Easter eggs. <laughs> Easter eggs are for kids. Because you know what? Jesus died so that we could eat brightly coloured eggs delivered by rabbits. <laughs> rabbits don't even lay eggs, you know, it's like religion by Dr. Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But do you know what? East is a really hard time for me. It's really hard. Well, up north that gets me in oh. In London you don't care, do you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't worry about it, I'm going to tell you anyway. No, it's really hard for me. Do you know why? Because I'm fat. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> And then, you know, it's springtime, so I get hay fever. And then when I get hay fever, I cry. Like, I'm not emotional or anything, it's just like hay fever. So uh, I walk into the supermarket, I'm gonna get some milk, and get some bread, and then, you know, there's a brightly coloured stall for all the Easter eggs. So I have a quick glance, I'm not planning on buying anything. And you can see all the people in there thinking, oh, there she is, fat pig. You get six of them, yeah? There you go, three for a ten, oh, why not three? Hand, and then they compare me to a pig. Great. <laughs> but uh, speaking of tragic disasters, I uh, read the news a lot. But, you know, English news is dead boring. You know, it's all about like politics and shit. I don't care. Uh, so I read the American news because they get really excited about stuff. And then uh, I was watching it online. I was watching like BBC America or something. I don't know. I've got no. I've got no. Time. I've got no life. I just watch the news. And then uh, it was about this helicopter crash. It was dead sad. Like loads of people died. And I was like, oh, it's really sad. And uh, instead of you know having people you know like when they call in and they're like, oh this is Keith from Hastings, opinion on the matter. Well, uh, hi, yeah, I think it's really sad that like people died and stuff. Like, hi mum, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to bother with the public. So they just put in, like a live Twitter feed. It's great. Like people can just fucking read it. It's all bollocks anyway, and they're like, oh hashtag dead sad, hashtag sorry, no one cares. <laughs> but I got really distracted by it. So I was like, ah, oh, media, oh, technology. And then this guy had taken it upon himself to post a picture of his penis onto the live Twitter feed on the news. And I thought, first I was like, what? What? He's hashtag like dead sad, hashtag tragic, a picture of his penis. And I was like, why would you do that? And I thought, no, this guy is a genius. Do you know why? Because Everyone's saying, oh yeah, I'm so sad, I feel really sorry for them all. And no one reads that. People are going to look at the pictures, right? So I thought, what a better way to show your sympathy than show another tragic disaster? Because it's like, ah, it's getting all going on, do you know what I mean? Like, Ugh. he's not getting like, he might as well show it on the internet, it was tragic. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, what a great way to show your sympathy. So uh, recently, you know, the whole Korean boat disaster is awful, it's awful, it's terrible, terrible. So I thought, Joe, I'm not going to post a tweet to the English media, you know, the live Twitter feed on the news. No, I'm going to do what this guy did. I'm going to take a note out of his book. So I put a naked selfie up. <laughs> you know, hashtag fat, hashtag Easter, hashtag me, hashtag tragic. And then uh, <laughs> it didn't get the same response, you know. It must not have translated. Because in America, like, everyone's kind of brushed over it. In England, I get put on a list. <laughs> I got banned from the internet. Which is probably a good thing, actually, because uh, I've probably seen more penises since I joined Facebook and Twitter than uh, the last time I watched Question Time. Yeah. Politics! Doesn't go down well. I'm going to leave you on that one. <laughs>